Welcome to the Know, I'm Ashley. I'm Brian. So we got a new trailer for the upcoming Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee games, and as all good trailers do, they've shed some more light on what fans can expect from the games. As Nintendo announced a few months back, the games are inspired by Pokemon Yellow, but they've got new graphics. Boy, and howdy, whole, they're good graphics, Oh, too. they look so pretty, and a whole lot of new features. Many of them, they're inspired by the success of Pokemon Go, which that's got some longtime fans riled up, but the new trailer, okay, trailers with an S, there's an English trailer and a Japanese trailer, and they show different things, and they do show some other returning new features from Core Series games as well. Yeah, look, these games, they're still about four months away from being released. There's still a whole lot we don't know that I'm sure we will learn in the four months. Mm -hmm. Like, what is multiplayer gonna look like? Will there be exclusive Pokemon to each version? And what kinds of customizations can you do with your characters and your Pokemon? Turns out quite a bit. Yeah, fortunately, those are all ones that we have answers to now. It's funny how that's that what works. trailers are supposed to help with, right? They're supposed to answer the questions, communicate the features. So we've done a dive into the new trailers. Uh, we've come up with a list of the things we've learned. Let's do this. All right, first up, interaction. This is one of the biggest things they're emphasizing in the new trailers. Of course, you start with either Pikachu or Eevee as your Pokemon based on which game you choose. They are not gonna evolve in this game though, but they will definitely come along for the ride. They adorably travel on your shoulder or on your head. They're basically a parrot. It's great. It is it is super cute. Yes. Uh, it, it makes up for them not evolving a little bit. Yeah. Um, you'll also be able to have another Pokemon following along in the world. So that's cool. We last saw that in a uh, Heart Golden Soul Silver, but we haven't really seen it since then. Also, you'll be able to ride some of the larger Pokemon, which Sun and Moon players will definitely recognize. Oh, that was the, nice. Yeah, yeah. The, uh, the trailer showed uh, the trainer riding like a, like an Onix and an Arcanine, as well as a Lapras, a Charizard. So those are all definitely gonna come in handy and look like a lot of fun. That was one of those features that made life easier. And like, <laughs> I, we didn't know we needed it until we had it. I'm glad it's sticking around. Plus, it looks really cool. Yeah. yeah. Uh, also, it looks like your Pokemon are going to be able to find hidden stuff throughout the world for you. Uh, in the English version of the trailer, you see a Nidoran dig something out of a, a bush and give it to the trainer. In the Japanese version, it's a Butterfree doing the finding. Huh. Either way, Pokemon, gonna help you out a little bit. Yeah. Also, as we have known previously, but we love seeing at every opportunity, you get to interact with your Pokemon, kind of a little, uh, kind of like Nintendogs used to do, like you pet them, you feed them, you tickle them. Maybe that's not the best comparison. For all we know, it's using that base technology. That's right. I can see it. <laughs> yeah, I and, and looking at it, it looks like you'll be able to use the Switch's touch screen or the movement controls to do that. Yeah, here's another thing, exclusive Pokemon. Yeah. And admittedly, this one is cheating just a little bit because we didn't technically learn this from the trailer, but it is from an official Nintendo announcement that's come out recently, so hey, we're gonna add it to the list because hey, we're all about things that we know. Yeah. Continuing with the long tradition of different versions of Pokemon games having exclusive Pokemon to each version, let's go Pikachu and let's go Eevee. They're both gonna have Pokemon you can't find in the other versions and they're not the title Pokemon. All right, let's break them down. In Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu, trainers can capture Oddish, Sandscrew, and Growlithe while Pokemon Let's Go Eevee players, they get Bellsprout, Vulpix, and Meowth. All right, so get ready to either buy both versions or bully a friend into buying the other one so that you can trade. I mean, that is the true spirit of Pokemon after all. Yeah, or get two Switches, I guess, and just trade in <laughs> between. All right, customization. That's next up, Pokemon. They've really been building on their trainer customization lately, and it looks like the Let's Go games are really hopping on that wagon, and that's something that's gonna be friendly for Pokemon players, too. Yeah, for Pokemon Go, I remember you could change, it's, yeah, it's not a thumb, you could change like hair, yeah. uh, like hair color, mm -hmm. you could change your eyes, that kind of thing, in addition to like what you're wearing. Right. Uh, for Let's Go, it looks like you'll have more control over your trainer's appearance than in previous games. And the customization doesn't stop with your trainer. Get ready for Pokemon customization. Oh boy, oh, yes. yeah. the trailer says you'll be able to pick your Pokemon's gender and even hairstyle. So if you ever wanted like a Pikachu with bangs, now's your chance. It's weird. Looks, okay. It looks kind of weird. Yes. Do not want, no. but other people may want, and that's great for that's everybody. That's up to you. That's also super cute, you see in the in the trailer, there's a you know, little Pikachu with a little 
part and you got a little girl Eevee there. Mm -hmm. So that's awesome. You'll yeah. also be able to dress your trainer and your partner Pokemon in a variety of outfits and accessories. Yeah, I think we saw that starting, well, I, don't, I remember it really well in X and Y, but this looks like it might be more extensive. I would assume it is. Yeah, I look, again, this is a game that is absolutely trying to appeal to the yes. Pokemon Go audience. Yes. So it's gonna be more mainstream. It's gonna try to appeal to as many people as possible. Right. And I don't know how you appeal to people more than dressing up your Outfits. Pikachu. Yeah. That's like, that's it. That's everything. Shut it down and ship it. Totally. All right, returning characters. Since this game, it's taking you back to the days of Pokemon Yellow. It makes sense that we'd see some familiar faces and some old favorites are definitely coming back from the good old days, including Professor Oak, Brock, who's back leading the Pewter City Gym, and of course, Misty, she's running the Cerulean City Gym. In a new twist though, your rival in the Let's Go games will be a new character. Kind of mysterious, they didn't give a lot of information about who that would be, they just described your rival as friendly. It's Doesn't your friendly sound like rival. much of a rivalry. Yeah, I know. <laughs> well, here's the thing, those important characters kind of an important note too, because it's a hint to the game's mm -hmm. timeline. There's been a lot of speculation that even though this is kind of a, a remake, revisitation of yellow, maybe, I don't know, it takes place later. Maybe you it's after Sun and Moon and then you're a next gen trainer revisiting Kanto. But with characters like Misty and Brock seem to be about the same age, yeah. it looks like that's not gonna be the case. So we'll see how that ends up falling out exactly. But it's a hint to the timeline for sure. Yeah. All right, next up, multiplayer. This is a big new feature for the Let's Go games. Maybe it's something that's gonna be a selling point for new players, for veteran players. It's also been one of the less clearly communicated features that's left many questions that have been unanswered. And I think there are still some questions to go, but we have oh, yeah. a little bit better clarity. Yeah. So for the first time in a mainline Pokemon game, Let's Go is going to allow two people to play together on one system. To join in a game, the second player just shakes a Joy-Con and they're joined in as a support trainer and then they fight alongside you. Nintendo says that having a partner, it's also got its perks in, in addition to just having an extra Pokemon around. It can make it easier to catch Pokemon or battle enemy trainers as a tag team. You'll also be able to trade Pokemon together locally or online. The trailer though, didn't really get into specifics. Yeah, so that is good in the, it's additional clarity that we have now right. because overall it is sounding very much like a Super Mario Galaxy, Super Mario Odyssey kind of implementation where the support players there, they're helping the trainer out, right. but based on it being drop in, drop out, it doesn't seem like it's necessarily gonna mean that support player takes anything with them when they drop back out. And we you know we've had some hints about, they're like, oh, it's gonna be so easy in previous trailers, but I think this one offered a little bit more clarity than we had before. Yeah, it definitely looked like one player is the Mario and the other is the flying hat. Right, like, exactly. <laughs> now, mind you, there will still be multiplayer battles, either locally or online, in addition to the trading features. Locally, by the way, meaning in the same room, not on the same Switch, uh, using the Switch's local wireless. If you wanna participate in online battles, you'll have to shell out for Nintendo's online service. That's gonna launch in September. Yes, yeah, so they're giving it a couple months before Pokemon comes out and they really yeah. overload those servers. <laughs> yeah, before they crash it. All right, so let's talk about the game world. Now, we mentioned that there is the Japanese trailer. It actually shows off a beautiful map of the game's Kanto region. Of course, if you're a veteran of the series, you probably played through it a million times, but this is a new version of the map and it looks really beautifully detailed. It shows off uh, which types of Pokemon can be found in all the various gyms around the world, that kind of thing. We also see a number of legendary Pokemon like Zapdos, Articuno, Moltres, there's Mewtwo, Dragonite, many, many more, but uh, it's a nice look at the region we're playing in. Again, familiar, but new. Yeah, and it ish. seemed like maybe it showed which could be caught in which areas. I couldn't, I, I looked at it very closely, but I couldn't really tell, but it's it, it busts out a lot of different Pokemon and it looks beautiful. All right, so yeah, that's what we noticed in this trailer. What did you spot that we didn't? Do you have any insight mm -hmm. on the map and the legendary Pokemon and what's gonna be catchable, what's not? Let us know what you see in the trailer, in the comments, and we of course have the trailers uh, in the description so you can check those out and then come back and talk to us about it. Yep, and for all your Pokemon news, be sure to like this video. If you're new around here, subscribe to the mail. Get your Pokemon yeah. on, get your Pokemon I'm excited, on. I'm gonna get it. Yeah, even though this is definitely a more casual one, I'm looking forward to it. I can't resist. Yeah. yeah. Especially the multiplayer with the kids, they will oh, love yeah. that. Love it, this it. is going to be a great way to yes. indoctrinate. Yeah.